Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hi. Uh, hello, Tracy. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, so Sarah, um, uh, how was how was the final year of twenty eighteen? Did you have did you have a good time? Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. What well, what did you do? Yeah. So in the past year, uh, uh, I was satisfied with my hard work. Mm. And I got the number one in my competition in English. Mm. <laughs> of oh, course, okay. uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, lower level, not high level English competition. Uh, I see. I, I, see. I have participated. Mm, I have participated uh, uh, English contrast last year. Okay. All right, so uh, I I I get number one. I get number one. I get or ah uh, yes yes I got. I got yeah that's better. I got number one. Yeah. I got one. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, and you participated in an English competition and an English competition. Okay, so just remember participate in. Yeah. Okay, very good. Well done. Oh, okay, though. thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Okay, Tracy, how about you? Um, did you do anything special in 2018? Uh, yes, I uh, I learned uh, learned uh, how to how to swim. <laughs> wow. Okay. So uh, I I learned how to swim. Very good. So you've never swam before. Uh, in, I I I swam when I was a university student, a student, but uh, I uh, I. But I, I, I didn't get the uh, skills mm. to um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you could say, um, I, I used to swim. I used to swim when I was at university. Yeah, so I used to swim. Um, but then you stopped and then you learned how to swim again, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right. Good achievement. Well done. Um, okay. And hello, Violet. Um, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very good. And um, did you do anything special in 2018? Um. In my opinion, there is nothing special in 2018. Maybe, uh, maybe just a few days ago that um, I took part in an important examination for mm. me in my life. Yeah, um, it caused um, the entrance examination for post grades. Yeah, uh. the, the results is very important. It's very important for me. Oh, sorry, I didn't catch that. What What do you mean? An entrance examination for? For uh, of postgraduates. Ah, oh, for postgraduate. As. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, maybe. Mm, yeah, a, a little like uh, GRE. Hmm. So you you want to go to university and study a. Uh, a postgraduate course? Yeah, I want to study deeper. I, yeah, I, I want to Very, get a master degree. Yeah, well, good luck. I, I'm sure you'll do well. Thank you. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, we've got some nice language here, like to participate in, take part in, uh, used to. So very good. Well done.
everyone. Um, but everybody's here, so we can start the lesson. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at culture and food. Okay, so culture and food. Okay. And um, for the first um, introduction, we have two paragraphs here. And I would like maybe, Sarah, if you could read the introduction for us, that would be great. <clears throat> okay, on pleasure. Introduction. When the concept of a culture is brought up in casual discussions, one of the first aspects which springs to mind is food. The reason behind this immediate association is probably that people get a lot of pleasure from trying out mouth-watering foods from all concerns of the globe. In this lesson, we shall spend some time learning about the ways in which cultures are def defi defined by the foods they produce. The different types of foods which we can eat in different countries shall also be discussed. Well done, yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sarah. Very good. Good pronunciation. Okay. Um, I just wanted to have a quick look at this word here, the first word here. Okay. Um, and casual, casual. What would be a opposite casual. word of casual? What's the opposite word of casual? Opposite, opposite word, casual. Formal. Mm. Uh, formal. Uh -huh. Sorry. Um, formal. So formal. Yeah, well done. Violet. So casual, formal, um, and you could say informal as well. Okay, so casual, informal, and the opposite would be um, formal. Okay, very good. Um, nice adjective. Um, and when you hear the word casual, um, we have like casual discussions. Is there any other words which connect with casual? Anyone? Common. Uh, casual. Dis so we have like casual discussions, oh. casual. Oh, casual discussions. Casual topics. Uh huh. Okay, casual topics. Free talk. Uh huh. Free talk. Casual. Um, what about? What people wear, casual dressed. Yeah, casual dress, exactly, yeah. So all these words connect oh, with wow. casual, yes. Yeah? So there are particular words which go together. All right, so well done. And then we have here immediate association. What would be another word for association? Anybody? Unite. Uh -huh. Connection. Connection, yeah. So association, connection, um, idea, um, thought, opinion. Yeah, so there are other words that could be related to that. Okay. Um, Tracy, what about mouth watering? Um, how would you describe mouth watering? <laughs> I I don't know. Not sure. Delicious. Okay. Delicious. Yeah. So delicious. Well done, Violet. So we've got mouth watering, mm -hmm. and another word for mouth watering would be delicious. Delicious. Okay. Um, so Tracy, good yeah, good taste. Um, so Tracy, um, in your country, is there any mouth-watering food that you really enjoy? Yes, there are so many. Yeah. Uh, such like uh, hot pot and uh, uh, dumplings. <laughs> uh, uh, fair, uh, fair no uh, noodles. Uh, very nice. Fried noodles, dumplings, hot pot. Wow. 
<laughs> okay. Well, I hope you don't get too hungry. Um, and another word we have, like all corners of the globe. What would be another word for all corners of the globe here? Mm. Oh, over the world. Yeah, all over the world. Um, or around the world. Yeah, so it's a nice language. So well done, everyone. Um, so good. Uh, well done. Okay. Um, so thank you for reading, Sarah. Um, does anyone have any questions about any other vocabulary here in this um, introduction? No questions, thank you. Okay. No questions. Okay. No, thank you. All right, great. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, and we have a bit of vocabulary to look at. All right. So, Tracy, um, if you could read the first word in the definition, that would be great. Moss watering. Food that is moss watering looks uh, or smells extremely good. Yeah, so what, what type of word is mouth watering? Is it a noun, a verb, an adjective, adverb? Mm. Uh, yeah, adjective. Yeah, adjective. Well done. So, um, mouth watering. So, and the other word which was connected to it, Tracy, mouth watering. Uh, uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Delicious. delicious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, delicious. All right. Um, so, Violet, uh, if you could read the next word. Uh, cured, food preserved by drying, hanging it in smoke or covering it with salt. Very good, yeah. So we say, if you could repeat again, cured, cured. Cured, cured. Yeah, very good. Cured. Cured. Okay, and what type of word is it? Is it a uh, noun, verb, uh, adjective? Adjective. Adjective, yeah. Very good. Well done. All right. All right. Um, now, let's see. Uh, Sarah, if you could read the next word, that would be great. Okay. Cuisine. A type of cooking style from a particular country or region. Mm. And the word, what type of word is it? Noun. A noun, yeah. A noun. Very good. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Well done. And you pronounced it very well. You said cuisine, cuisine. Yeah. So well done. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tracy, if you could read the next word, that would be great. Um, sa succulent, soft, tender, and juicy. Yeah. So succulent, succulent. Succulent. Yeah. Succulent. Very good. And what type of word is it? Uh, uh, adjective. An adjective. Yeah, succulent. Yeah, very good. All adjective. right. Yeah, adjective. Okay. All right. And Violet, if you could read the next word for us. Hi. To regard something or someone with reverence and respect. Mm. And the word, what type it's of word? It's a verb. A verb, yeah, a verb. 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 Verb, yeah. All right, Sarah, last word then. Yes. Indulge. Mm -hmm. To partake in something pleasurable. Yeah, and what type of word? Mm. Noun. Oh, no. No, it's a v verb. Verb, yeah, very good. Very good, a yeah. verb. All right. Um, and what would be the adjective? Any idea on the adjective? Sp oh, spoiled. 
spoiled. Okay, to indulge, um, I'm thinking, you know, to indulge is the verb, and the adjective, you start with indul... Indulge. Indulged. Indulging. Indulging. Okay, so we could have the uh, uh, ed or ing adjective. Um, um, there's another adjective I think we can use, uh, if I'm correct. No, sorry. What, what's the noun? So we have the ing ed adjective. What would be the noun? Indulgence. Indul. A bit louder. Indulgence. Indulgence. Indulgence would be the Indul noun. Indulgence. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, but very good. Well done, everyone. Okay, so we have, if we put this here, um, the verb. Then we have the adjective and then we have the noun as well okay great um all right so does anyone have any questions with the key vocabulary for this lesson no questions no questions no thank you all right okay um let's move on then and uh, let's see, Tracy, I'd like you to read about Spain and cuisine in Spain. Spain is uh, uh, definitely one of the best places to get a range of tasty finger foods. These foods are called uh, tapas and uh, typically contain olives, uh, sardines, uh, sun dried tomatoes and uh, cured hams. Um, main dishes which are worth um, um, mentioning here include uh, um, paella, which is a lovely seafood and a rice uh, dish with uh, uh, saffron, uh, no Spanish dish. Dish would be complete without a healthy uh, um, goblet of white or red wine sourced from local uh, vineyards. Okay, very good. Well done, Tracy. All right, so um, we have tapas, tapas, okay, and these tapas, yeah, tapas. these are finger foods, finger foods. So people you know, you have a plate and people eat it, yeah, with their fingers. <laughs> okay, very good. Well done. Sunflower seed. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah? <laughs> Sunflower seed is a kind of a finger food. Yes, exactly. Yeah, sunflower, sunflower seeds. Seed. And they're very healthy, very good for you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. And we have paella here, paella, which is, um, as mentioned, it's like a rice yeah. with seafood, or you could have uh, rice with cheese. There's different types of paella. And we have this word here, saffron, which is a kind of spice or herb. Saffron. Mm -hmm. saffron. Let me see if I can find an image. Um, so just bear with me. So we have saffron okay here we go so this here is uh, saffron okay all right so it's a type of um, uh, sort of herb or plant which people use for cooking and uh, saffron's very expensive, very, very expensive. Okay. All right. Um, so goblet, any idea, anyone? What What is a goblet? Goblet. Oh, it is a can of... 
Oh, uh, it is a can of contents which, uh, uh, which made of by made of by glass. Glass, yes. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of it's a glass basically. So goblet. Um, a drinking drinking glass with a foot. Mm, yeah. With a long foot. Standing top. Yeah, it's like a very old glass, a drinking glass. Um, yeah. And let me see if I can find goblet. Um, I, I think of um, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> um, so it's a very old um, uh, uh, drinking glass or container and this would be a goblet here so it, it's a uh, like a traditional glass or container used for drinking okay right um violet what which finger foods are popular in your city uh i i don't know how to how to translate in uh -huh. english uh, maybe Baked noodles. Uh, we call it uh, cold noodles in Chinese. Uh, uh -huh. But but the noodles it's not cold. Yeah. Uh, it's just uh, how to say. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, that kind of di um, dishes um, made up for eggs and uh, um, hams and. Some vegetables, yeah, and uh, a piece of noodles. Mm. A piece of noodles that, uh, uh, yeah, every they are connected with each other. Yeah. So called a piece of. Uh, pieces of noodles. Uh, can you imagine? I, I suppose. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So is it like is it short noodles or very long noodles? No, no, no. Uh, the short noodles and mm -hmm. uh, at um a noodles a, a noodle like a line, but uh, that can in in this food, uh, the no the noodle that line connected with another mm. and very maybe um four or five lines. Yeah. So four or five Just a piece. noodles connected? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So four or five noodles connected. <laughs> and then there's ham and other things mixed with it? Uh, yeah. I yes. see. Oh, we, we bake it. Yeah. Very it's nice. very cheap, but very delicious. Oh, it sounds... It's, very popular in China. <laughs> it sounds very nice, very nice, yeah. All right, well well done. Thank you for explaining. Yeah, okay. Um, how about Sarah? What, what sort of finger foods are popular in your city, Sarah? Mm. So my special local food is labs cat. Kebabs, lamb, kebabs. Kebabs. Nikitos. Uh -huh. Yes, kebabs. I see. And uh, um, you stand the boiled mutton. Uh, and boiled mutton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you stand the boiled mutton. Mm. Sounds very nice. So you have these um, uh, long what we call skewers, and you put the meat on the skewers to make the kebab? No, 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 no. No? Lamb. Lamb. Um, yes, yeah, oh, yeah, yes, yes, this word. I don't know how to read it. Yes. Uh-huh. We, we say... Skewers. Skewers, yeah, we say skewers. So... A strange of matches. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, it is a, a string, a string of mutton's meat. Mm. And we then toasted this. We toast, we toast them on the fire. It oh, that sounds very nice. 
Um, so you have like lamb or boiled <laughs> mutton on skewers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, just like uh, BBQ. Uh, barbecue, barbecue. A uh, barbecue, yeah. yes, just like a barbecue, <laughs> but it's very famous in our local city. <clears throat> wow, sounds very nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And Tracy, how about how about you? Um, what what sort of finger foods are popular in your city? Uh, 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 uh it's shaped like a bowl and uh, made by made by rice and uh, eggs. Uh, I heard uh, an English version uh, uh -huh. about it, about its name. It's very interesting. Called uh, uh, ch uh, uh Chinese uh, rice uh, rice hamburger. Rice. Uh, Chinese rice burger, hamburger? Ham hamburger. Hamburger. All oh, right. Chinese rice hamburger. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So you have rice and you mix it with um, egg and then you cook it in it's like a rice ball? Yes. Mm. Okay. Sounds very interesting. Okay, and uh, do you have different types of these rice balls? Do you have? Did do you add anything else? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 usually we uh, add eggs and uh, some vegetables, um, but uh, 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 every, every family has its own <laughs> uh, uh, way to. Made uh, this dish. They, uh, they can add anything they like into it. Okay, so um, so everybody has their own way to make it. Um, what's another word for to make uh, the own way to make it? Uh, everybody has their own. It starts with R. So everyone has yeah, their it's, own. Has the, uh, Let's see. Um, if I move this over here, so everyone has their own way to make it, or their own. Mm. I'm thinking. Recipe. Everyone has their own recipe. Recipe. Yeah, yeah. So their own way to make it, their own recipe, yeah? Okay. Uh, let's just see. We can use, we can use, right, we can use rice and vegetables and eggs, mix them together. Mm -hmm. So we still, we, we, we steam them on the spot or we fried them on the spot. Ah, uh, I see. So, see? yeah, so um, um, people steam, steam, steam them. or uh, fry them. Yeah. Uh, I see. So uh, everyone has their own way of making them, either steam them or fry them. Uh, no, only uh, only steam rice and uh, uh, put uh, what they like into the ice. I uh, see. Into the rice and made a, a this uh, like a, a snowball. I see. Okay. Well, it sounds really um, easy to make if you have rice and you have the eggs and vegetables. Um, but yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Um. So we have some nice language here. Um, does anyone else have any questions at all? No, thank you. No, no, thank you. All right. Well, let's move on. And we have something about Italy here. Okay. And uh, let's see. Um, Violet, if you could read about uh, Italy and the food in Italy, that would be great. Okay. Um... Arguably, one of the best uh, cuisines on offer in the world is Italian. If you are into creamy, steamy, 
pastas with fresh vegetables and meat, or crispy pizzas. You are no stranger to Italian cuisine. Uh, Lasagna, lasagna, chicken al alfredo, and four seasons pizza are just some of the country's most well-known foods. For brandy lovers, it is most advisable to try out a nice cold serving of tiramisu. Very good. Yeah, very tiramisu. good. Yeah, tiramisu. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> All right, so Violet, um, do you like Italian food? Uh, yeah, I, I like spaghetti. Spaghetti, yeah. Very much. <laughs> spaghetti yeah. is quite nice. Yeah. All right. Um, how about Tracy? Do do you have you tried Italian food before, Tracy? Uh, only uh pasta. <laughs> only pasta. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how about Sarah? Have you? Tried Italian food? Do you like Italian food? No, no, no never. <clears throat> but uh, a pizza is very prevalent in our local city. Mm -hmm. A recent year, recent years, <laughs> but uh, I don't like it very much. Mm. I like my local food and the Chinese food very much. Okay, so we could say um, uh, pizza is becoming more popular uh, in our city, or pizza is becoming more um, uh, pizza is becoming um, more accessible uh, in our city. Yeah. Oh, but you don't like it, so <laughs> never mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So we have this type of food here, which is uh, quite nice. It's called lasagna, lasagna, and um, it's quite quite tasty. Uh, let me see if I can find a photo for you. Um, yeah, this picture here is probably the best. Um, now, as you can see here in the picture, we have layers, layers of flat sheets of pasta. These are like rectangular squares or rectangular pieces of pasta. <laughs> um, and in between the pasta, you have meat, like minced meat, and a creamy sauce, a white creamy sauce at the top with cheese. And um, it's very delicious. It's very tasty. Okay. Um, so if you have a chance, I would recommend trying out lasagna one day. Okay. All right. Okay. And um, for dessert, after you try lasagna, you could try tiramisu, and it's a very nice dessert, okay? Um, and it's a sort of dessert with coffee and a bit of brandy, and uh, it's very sweet and quite tasty. Um, let me see if I can find a picture of um, tiramisu. Tira. Tiramisu. Here we go. Okay, so this is the dessert tiramisu. Okay, so it's quite tasty. <laughs> right. Um, does anyone have any questions about Italian food or any of the vocabulary? No questions. No. No, thank you. Okay. All right, very good. Well done. Okay, um, and let's see. Uh, back to Sarah now. And Sarah, if you could read about Moroccan food, that would be great. Okay, I'm pleasure. Morocco. 
even if you don't like the idea of visiting a desert country, going to Morocco for the food alone is worth the trip. Dishes such as lab tagging, slow cook ingredients such as succulent lamb and apricots with chickpeas and spices. Species or spices. Spices. <laughs> Fluffy spices, fluffy Q Q's Q's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How to say this word? Fluffy Q's Q's mm-hmm. is the main starch eaten in the country. Very good. Well done. Uh, okay, so yes, yeah, Sarah, couscous. We say couscous. Couscous. Mm. Couscous. Yeah. Fluffy couscous. Yeah, so couscous, it's a very, um, uh, let's see if I can spell it correctly. Um, uh, I'll find a photo for you. Um, It's quite tasty. It's quite small. Um, It's made with uh, sort of chickpeas and other things like that. And this is uh, couscous here, this picture here. Okay, so it's really, really small, and they they boil it. They add hot water to it, and it becomes quite um, fluffy and quite, you know, uh, light. Okay. All right. And uh, this word here, lamb tagine, tagine. Lamb tagine. Mm. Lamb tagine. 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 Um, yeah, so um, it's a very nice um, dish, very nice bit of food, and the the lamb is slow cooked, so it's very tender and very. Um, it would become very easy to eat, um, but they mix uh, in Morocco. They mix a lot of meat with um, fruit um, and spices. Okay. Um, <laughs> And uh, Sarah, um, is any food in your culture yes. uh, mixed together? Like, is meat and fruit eaten together in your culture? Oh, let me see. <laughs> Think about it. In my opinion, there is no cuisine, both meat and the fruit together. Mm. Okay. All right. Tracy, Riley. Uh, I think uh, 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 there is a, uh, there is a dish. Uh, um, uh, I don't know. Hong Shao Rou. Uh, my my mother like to uh, cook uh, pork uh, with uh, uh, peach uh, and really? uh, and sugar together. Uh, it's so uh, I know. I know. It is, I know uh, with delicious. the sugar, but yeah. I don't know. It can, uh, it can. Okay, <laughs> use you use the peach. Yeah, uh, um, um, many families use uh, onion or, or potatoes, but mm. mother, uh, and in in my home, uh, in fact, in my hometown, uh, we cook uh uh uh, uh, uh peach in, instead of uh, potatoes. Uh, it. Uh, is I think it's more delicious than uh, cook uh, uh, potato with <laughs> with uh, pork. Really? Um, yeah. Wow. Well, in in England, we cook pork with apples, so we have pork, pork and apple together. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it's quite 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 a unique taste because pork by itself, it's got a very strange taste or strange smell but when you mix it with apple or cooked apple it's tastes quite nice um similar to peach i guess yeah um how about violet are are there any other foods in your culture which mixes meat and fruit together oh yes uh i know there is a a dish uh that cooked with uh, um cooked uh, Pork with the pineapple. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Really? Yes. 
Yes, it's called a Bolo Gulao Rou. Yeah, it's very popular and tasty. So many people <laughs> like it. Uh, yeah, a, a little icy and a little sweet. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I I guess Sarah, you'll have to try lots of different、oh, dishes with pineapple and peach with pork. Yeah. <laughs> I guess how strange they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, all right.、Um, let's see.、Uh, one one other dish which is very popular in England is、um, uh, let's see, duck and orange. Duck and orange. They they cook.、Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we we have a whole duck and we slice orange、uh-huh. and put it on the duck and then we put it in an oven、uh-huh. and cook it and it's got a very nice taste. It tastes nicely.、Uh, it goes well together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well,、um, let's move on because we have very short time. And our next、uh, slide here.、Okay. Um, let's see,、uh, um, Tracy. Yeah, Tracy. If you could read about Japan, that would be great. Held as one of the best types of foods that you can find on Earth. No discussion of、uh, con-、uh, con. Continental foods would be complete without mentioning Japan. The land of the rising sun is the home of、uh, sushi,、uh, which has become popular around the world. It is also the place where、uh, ramen noodle dishes originated,、uh, as well as where Kobe beef comes from. Japanese people traditionally、um, sit on the floor when eating meals. Okay, very good. Yeah, so continental, continental. It would be um, uh, continental. Uh, okay, a continent is a region on the、okay. earth. Yeah, so it's a region. It's a、uh, it's a country.、Um, but here, continental is quite a nice adjective. Okay.、Um, let's see if I can find continental.、Um, yes.、Yeah, so belonging to a continent. Okay. Okay. And then originated.、Um, so、uh, we have noodles.、Um, Or ramen noodles originated from Japan.、Um, so, originated. What would be another word for originated? Another word for originated. Comes from. Comes from. Yeah, it comes from. Okay, all right.、Uh, very good. Now I know we have、oh, very short time, and、um, let's see. We'll move on. And Violet, if you could read about India, that would be great. Okay. For like indulging in eating hot and spicy foods, there is no better place to go than India. Rest and.、Uh... The rotis are served with fiery hot chicken curries and sambos. They be washed down with an ice cold beer. However, beef lovers will find their meat of choice in India. Cows are worshipped as a deity and not slaughtered. Parts of India.、Mm, yes,、yeah, so it,、uh, cows are worshipped as a di a deity a deity.、Um, Like、uh, similar to, to like God or connected with God. Okay, so there are many cows which walk around in、mm-hmm. India, and they、mm-hmm. they don't eat beef in、um, India, but they eat a lot of chicken and a lot of vegetables. Yeah.、Um, okay, very good, Violet. And then washed down with would be to drink. So this can be 
uh, drunk with a nice cold beer. So chicken curries can be washed down with beer. Okay, so it's a nice phrase. Okay. Right. Um, I know we have very short time, um, so we're going to go to the next slide. And Sarah, um, I'd like you to read about Chile. Yes. That would be great. Okay, Chile. Chilean cuisine offers something for everybody. For those who love eating with their hands, the Chilean hot dog with uh, avocado, tomato cubes, uh, cat uh, hop, ketchup, and mustard yeah. is a treat. If you're feeling adventurous, why not try out some sea snails or Patagonian squid in a salad. On Chile, in the Independence Day, you could enjoy a pisco sour with empanadas and some barbecued meat. Mm, yeah, very good. Yeah, so we have ketchup. Ketchup. Um, do you know what ketchup is? Heck. Mm, okay. I don't know. Well, let me find a photo. Uh, ketchup is basically tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Okay. That's ketchup. Oh. Tomato ketchup. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, so we, we, um, it's very popular. Ketchup is very popular in England. Tomato. Yeah, T tomato juice. Okay, tomato juice would be a drink, but tomato ketchup would be thicker, and oh. you add it to, like, if you go to McDonald's. Tomato yeah, jam. if you go to McDonald's, you can have tomato, tomato ketchup jam. with your, um, uh, yes, 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 with yes. your um, French fries or or potatoes. Okay. Yes. Right, um, we're going to go very quickly now because we're running out of time, okay, um, and let's see, Tracy, are you there? Tracy, are you there? Uh, can you help? Yes, I'm very sorry. That's all right. I have okay. off my microphone. All right. So, Tracy, um, could you describe the foods you see or what, what sort of food? Where does this food come from, do you think? Uh, come from Japan. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And what, what sort of food can you see? Um, uh, I think it's uh, 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 it's uh, uh, continental foods. Mm -hmm. Continental foods, and uh, there's a particular name for it. Does, uh, yeah, continental. Uh, does anyone um, know the food? The name of the food? Uh, I I don't Suits. know, but we 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 call it this uh, uh uh, we call it. But I don't know how to say it. In sushi, sushi, sushi. Sushi. Thank yeah. you. Okay, right, Violet. Um, what about this food? What What can you see here, and where Where do you think it comes from? Uh, it's pizza. Comes from Italy. Mm, yeah, it's pizza. It comes from Italy. Yeah. And um, um, what uh, do you know? Um, do you know how pizza is cooked in Italy? Do you know how pizza is cooked? Do they fry it or do they? No, I, I'm not. Uh, maybe fried. <laughs> okay. Fried. Um, they have a very big oven, uh, like a clay oven, and they yes. put the pizza in, and uh, it's cooked with um, uh, flames. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I see. Okay, right. Um, we're going to go through some of these slides. Um, because we've run out of time, we're not going to do the dialogue. Okay, so 
apologies here, but there was a dialogue between two friends planning to have dinner together, and they're from different cultures. Okay. Um, so we're going to skip that. Um, we're going to wrap up, okay? So um, let's see. Sarah, um, um, have you ever had a meal with friends from another culture? Um, if so, did you have to adopt different table manners at all? Mm. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh -huh. uh, you know, South Africa... Uh, South Africa's uh, cuisine is very popular in my local city. So mm -hmm. sometimes uh, uh, we will have lunch or have dinner with my friend. Mm, I see. <laughs> but uh, we never, yeah, but uh, we never, how to see, uh, we never aware of some different table manners, mm. just uh, like uh, having Chinese dish. <laughs> mm, okay, all right. Um, how about Tracy? Have you had a, a meal with friends from other cultures before? Yes, I, uh, I, uh, I have a, a classmate. Uh, uh, she came, uh, came, came from Xinjiang province, mm -hmm. and they eat food with with hand. Uh, when I uh, travel to Xinjiang province uh, last summer, and I eat dinner with her family. Mm -hmm. Families use use hand. <laughs> oh, they use their hands to eat rather than. Chopsticks or knife and fork? Yeah. Okay. How about Violet? How about you? Have you had food from other cultures or ate with people from other cultures before? No. No? Um, would you like to try food from other cultures in the future? Uh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what sort of yeah. food would you like to try, Violet, in the future? Uh, maybe um, uh, so, so, uh, maybe the um, uh, south south uh, south eastern India. Ah, okay. That would be quite interesting. Yeah. So, do you like spicy food? Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, um, let's finish off there. Um, so, well done, everybody. Um, there's been some very interesting language, and it was very interesting to learn a bit more about uh, food from your culture, um, and particularly with meat and um, fruit being mixed together. So. Um, it would be quite interesting to, to learn a bit more. But um, does anyone have any other questions before we finish? No questions, thank you. Okay. No, okay. All right. Well, um, I hope you have a great uh, afternoon, evening, and um, I hope to see you soon. And, uh, yeah, um, take care and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.